Got on. Now we drive. I think perception necessitates existence, so what else is there? Okay. Um, do you agree that two people can observe a tree, right, but the tree still exists on its own, you know, like, uh, regardless of observation, the tree is still there. Two atoms can interact and perceive each other, thus mutually confirming their existence. In the same way, a conscious observer could bring a tree into existence. What does it mean to be a life form, you know, if it, you, it, it doesn't even uh, experience, it's not conscious, you know? The significant difference in entities would be when one achieves consciousness. But who, what does that even mean? Is consciousness simply the ability to process information in, in a way that even a, a toaster could be called conscious? In artificial intelligence, you know, that's something where uh, advancing every day, you know, one day we we might we might have an artificial intelligence that has consciousness at the same level of a human being, or or maybe even beyond, you know. And let's say you have a consciousness uh, in the form of a machine that can uh, perceive um, ultraviolet ultraviolet light. light exactly, you know. Um, would it be a higher level of consciousness? Would that be a higher level of sentience, you know? I think we're really just going to have to wait until science That's right. and robotics advances enough and who's to say if it will even happen in our lifetime? How can we question? How can we? And that's a joke.